Okay, just back from uh, a month in uh, in Africa. So I went to Ivory Coast for about almost two weeks and then another two and a half weeks in Morocco on holidays. Uh, it was really good. And uh, now I'm back here. Uh, evening temps are still in the minus five to minus 10 with the odd uh, colder. Daytime seem to be in the... Uh, around zero to five Celsius. So still quite a bit of snow. Uh, it's about three Celsius right now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Uh, I can't really open up the hives yet, but I do have, uh, basically I'll put uh, two pounds of pollen patty per colony. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is clean out those entrances so i'll clean off to make sure i take all these bees out uh and clean up any piles of bees on the ground because you can see that uh during warmer times uh, there's little puddles and the bees will drink from that uh so if uh there's squished infected bees in there with nosema and amoeba uh, it's just a potential transmission point so uh, it's good to do good housekeeping around your colonies now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front styrofoam off, leave it exposed to the sun. Uh, these uprights, I'll take that off. And then the bubble foil wrap, I'll pretty much cut it uh, on either side. So the front side is fully exposed to the sun. Uh, so early April now, so days are much longer. Angle of the sun's much better. Uh, you can see there it's even at three degrees, two bees out uh doing some poop dancing right now so uh, it's important that you make those entrances as warm as possible and exposed to the sun so the bees can clean them out keep them dry uh, because I'm going to be adding pollen patties the colony is going to go from a 20 to 25 celsius up to 35 c uh, so that higher temperature uh, and then maintaining higher temperatures will require more air uh, I won't be able to clean out my bottom boards today. It's just too cold and too much snow around. So I'll do that during my first inspection. Uh, but I will remove the entrance reducers on the front uh, and just put them back tonight. So the bees can get some good fresh air in the colony uh, and basically give them a boost to, to help clean out those uh, bottom entrances. Uh, I'll just use my tool. I've got some vials, so I'll be collecting some uh, some fresh dead bees or live bees from each colony just to do a health check. And that's about it. Uh, so yeah, I'll start by taking this uh, piece of plywood off the top. Just a couple screws holding it down. Uh, and then uh, for now, the sides and the back are going to stay on. Uh, but... Pretty much everything else is coming off and you can see how my pieces of plywood and the ash that I put out help melt the snow and at least the bees have a uh, a dry location to land so yeah so you can see the sun is activating the bees which is good uh, the bees that are just flying off now probably won't come back uh, just because it's that type of uh <clears throat> they're not true uh cleansing flights those bees they're probably gonna go scout out but uh this area here is like a microclimate it's much warmer than outside the yard so the bees will probably die so hence the reason i uh don't take the insulation off too early is uh i don't want too many uh bees to to die for no reason
Okay, so this was my bottom entrance cleanup. So entrances are clean, uh, entra entrance reducers are off, and I'll just let them uh, basically breathe for the next uh, for the next uh, day or so. Uh, the bees are all alive. They don't look alive right now, but uh, it's because they're all in the top box here. So if I look at my temperatures, it's about 20 some degrees in the top box. Uh, and the reason I did what I did was to help them warm up the bottom box. So the thing with poly boxes are really well insulated. If the cluster gets small, they get cold bound on top and basically can't break that seal. Hence the reason I rather go singles now is it avoids this problem. So hopefully the sun stays out. It's cloudy again, uh, but we'll, uh, it's, they're calling for sun most of the, the week. So hopefully uh, the bees uh, get to come out and you can see down there uh, that colony at the end, the bees are finally seeing the light and they're starting to come out. Uh, and there was also quite a bit of dead bees in the bottom there. But uh, come spring or a nice warm day, I'll probably have to do it from the front. I'll, uh, I'll be taking this bottom box off and dropping it. So it's uh, one of the first things I'll do. And uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to put some pollen patties on. And we're going to take the time. And then I'll collect data tonight and I'll show you how quickly the bees heat that box up and start their brood rearing. So hopefully all the queens are alive and healthy. So we should see four colonies go up to 30, 35 C by, uh, by supper time. Okay, so let's go open the tops up. So this colony here is the one that had amoeba and osima early in the season. Uh, so let's, we'll, we'll see if, uh, if they have it and as I go through I'll collect more bees so and again this here is just good housekeeping so it's good to collect all your dead bees and stow them away don't leave them on the ground because Nosema and amoeba and a lot of the diseases actually uh, stay viable even in the cold so it's important to, to keep your yard clean uh, when you can especially at this time of year when the bees are at their most sensitive pretty tame so what I'm going to do now is just take these tops off and then I'll show you how my uh, my tops are insulated uh, I've got uh, two pounds of pollen patties for each hive and you'll see in the middle here there's going to be a slot with the plug and I'm just going to pull that out uh, so I think this is a deep and it's got three two inch uh, sheets of styrofoam plus the I guess the adapter I made to put the pollen patty in. And I've taped my edges on the styrofoam so I can use it indefinitely without it getting damaged so it protects the edges. So I just store this uh, post season. And the goal now is actually not to inspect. We'll get to see the cluster, uh, but it's to pretty much put put pollen patties in and then close it back up as quickly as possible uh, with the least disturbance as possible. Okay, let's see that tight. I'll move this before I knock it over. So you can see, you can still see, I've got a piece of bubble foil wrap. That was just, that was just to help seal around this uh, plug. Let's cross our fingers that there's bees here. I can hear them, so take this plug off. And there are the bees. And they look pretty good. So if I just do this oh, and piss them off. 
I'll use some of these for my, uh, my bee sampling, but you can see how, if we look at it, uh, there's my center sensor. Uh, the bees are loosely clustered, so they're actually not in a ball, they're pretty active. I'm not gonna put the plug back in, I'm just gonna put the bubble foil back on. But uh, right now the goal is to put the uh, pollen patties on. So I'm just gonna put the camera aside. It's still close to zero outside, so I don't wanna have it open too. And so I'll just uh, push the bees back in. I'll do one at a time. And chances are you will squish a few bees, but so is life. There's one. Let's get another one, block the front as much as possible. See, there's not much space left there, but I'll put a bit of fondant on top there. Uh, this is H3. That's two. Yeah, three. Just collecting a few bees there. Bring it in. Okay. We'll do four. We'll do three. Okay. Just kick them out. Actually, we can grab a few off of that. Just gonna stuff the gap here with fondant so the bees don't get uh, stuck. And I'm putting about uh, a half kilo, so about a pound and a half, about 1.1 pounds uh, of hive life, not hive life, hive alive fondant. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's just to fill the cavity, and it, uh, and then I won't come back for another probably couple of weeks. I'm just gonna get the bees out of here. Okay, that was step one. Don't need the plug anymore. This, and then you can see how everything just bundles back up. I'm filming and I've got somebody else beside me so you can see that without uh, disturbances or distractions you can actually get it done in uh, probably 10-15 seconds which is the goal. And pull it back up. Uh, so this here might be a bit more active. This is the one that uh, seems hotter uh, and the bees are a bit more uh, this is the one that had Nosema and Amoeba and I've got plenty of samples of them. So you can see how I have my wet, uh, whatchamacallit, it's called the sub hub and it's used, uh, what it does, this is what captures all the sensor data into one place and then I connect my phone to this thing and I upload it all in one shot. So now it takes me it took me, what, a couple minutes to do a month of data on 30 sensors, where before it'd be hours and my hands would freeze and my phone would die because of the cold. So, good stuff.
it's not a perfect system, but oops. there we go. This is the run. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get the pollen valley ready for this. And the goal, what I'll do is I'll law set it this way, this way, and this way, just to block all the bees from flying out. So let's see if you can see that. You can. And I'll start right away. Before the bees come out. out okay. Okay. So girl got plenty of food so hopefully you survive. another one done and uh, in a nutshell that's how I give pollen patty <clears throat> okay all four colonies are cleansing uh, it's what five o'clock right now in the afternoon uh, it's about three degrees outside uh, you can see how the bees regardless of it uh, being pretty cold uh, they're doing a really nice cleansing flight uh, only possible without the front insulation if I still had the insulation on uh, there really wouldn't be much activity uh, after this video I'll upload my uh, temperature data and we should by now have seen the colonies start uh, warming up uh, so these are bees that are cleansing, uh, hopefully not too many fly off in the distance to go do some exploring because that's how they die, but uh, yeah, it's it's good. So tonight, as when it gets darker and the bees are back inside, I'll uh, come and put the, uh, the entrance producers back on, but uh, yeah, it's good to see them out. And, uh, and have you.